Hey everyone, this is going to be a quick demonstration on how to get a reliable PGP program to interact with your Gmail, Yahoo uh, through a browser add-on. Uh, I'll explain a little more what PGP is after the demonstration, but for now let's jump right into it on how to get yourself set up. Uh, the program I recommend is called Mailvelope. You can get it from mailvelope.com. Address is up here. If you click on Mailvelope um, on the home page, just scroll down a little and uh, you have to use either Chrome or Firefox. I'm going to demonstrate with Chrome. Just left click on available in Chrome Web Store. See this little bop up uh, come up that has a uh, click add. It's got very high reviews. If you like it, I encourage you to give it uh, positive reviews as well. You'll see it appeared in the upper right corner here, this little lock. It says Mailvelope has been added to Chrome, which is all you need. You can just close this now. You do have to reboot your browser, so I'll do that. And here I've rebooted the Chrome browser. I have the extension uh, visible right here in the upper right corner. I'm going to left click on it and go to options. This is where the majority of uh, your uh, admin uh, procedures are run. Uh, right now I have uh, no keys in here. Uh, if you're just starting out, you're going to need to generate a key. Click on this right here. Uh, type in uh, your name or what you want it to appear in sort of a directory. Anyone who has your public key will be able to see your name, so don't put something that's completely confusing or offensive. Um, and uh, your email address is again just used for reference, so it doesn't have to be your email address, but anyone who sees your code um, will see the email address so it might look a little weird if you're sending stuff from a different email address than what's in your code but I will do just that um, under it I would advise you to click on advanced here and change this to be uh, 4096 um, it'll take a little longer to set up but it's well worth it in terms of the level of encryption this passphrase is for interaction with mailvelope uh, just put in something that you can remember you will have to access it in order to uh, read your encrypted mail. Um, if you lose it, you're out of luck, so pick one carefully. All right, I've got matching passwords. Uh, I'm actually going to change this down to be 1024 just because uh, if I do 4096, it'll take about four minutes to make, whereas if I just do the short one, it only takes a couple seconds. Um, I now, if I scroll back up to my display keys, I'll see I've got my test uh, address set up. I'm going to go back to my Gmail interface and I'm going to compose myself a message. Um, as you'll note here as soon as I um, click on the text part of a G Gmail message I get this little icon that pops up. This is very important. You left click on that and you can enter in uh, whatever text uh, you'd like to be encrypted. In this case I'll paste in something. Uh, you then have to select who you want to send it to by clicking on the little lock button here. I've only got one person in my address book, which is me, but so I'll add myself here. You can add more than one person here, which is useful if you want to send a group message or if you want to keep a message uh, so that you can read it yourself, you should always uh, add yourself so that you can decrypt it in your sent mail. Uh, hit OK. Your message will turn into something very uh, unreadable. Uh, you can see the bottom here. Uh, you can then hit the transfer button and it will move this text into your message. Uh, you then you could have done this first, but enter in the address, which is me, YouTube, and I'm going to put this in here to make it distinguishable. I'm going to hit send. The message comes right in. I've got a message. And you, the, you'll see that the text kind of gets this weird uh, hover over and glow to it and this envelope pops up. Left click on that. It will ask you for your password again. Go ahead and punch that in. You can save it, but you can see there um, it has decrypted my message. Um, it's in regular text, not rich text, but you can uh, read it in its entirety. Um, all that's been transferred over the web has been uh, this text right here. All of that decryption happens locally on your machine. Uh, if you've got a buddy that uses PGP and you want to send him a message, you can easily just get their public key and go back over to here to import keys. I'm going to grab one. Got one here. Just paste it in. Hit submit. It's going to say success. This has been added. So now I've got two. Two different ones. Now you'll note here that one of these has two keys on it. That's because I have the public key and the private key. 
this other one only has one key on it because I only have the public key. For those of you that are unfamiliar with what a public and private key is, uh, your public key is something that you can give to anyone. Uh, just uh, It's like your address almost. Uh, you can use that, uh, people can use that to send a message that only you can decrypt. Um, so uh, you don't need to feel very protective about it. You can send it out, put it in your email signature or uh, your blog or Twitter. Uh, your private key is something you want to protect much more carefully. That's uh, something you wouldn't even probably want to store um, on on a cloud anywhere or if you do make sure it's uh, encrypted on its own. Uh, Mailvelope has some encryption built into your um, private key. Uh, that's what that uh, password's asking you for but it's still best to protect it as much as you can. If you would like to uh, share your public key, it's very easy. You left click anywhere on this line and you click on this blue export button. You'll see a couple options here. Uh, display private key is probably not something you ever want to do, but you can display your public key. Again, no need to worry about who sees this. You can left click and copy to clipboard. You can compose a message to anyone you want to. Paste that into the message. It looks weird here, but if you stretch it out, it looks fine. Uh, and that can be sent to anybody. Uh, they won't be able to read your messages, only send you a uh, encrypted message. With two addresses, I can go to compose a message again. And when I'm selecting my recipients, I'll have more than one person. Um, so that's uh, how to operate it in uh, in in four minutes. Uh, you know. Again, it's a really nifty uh, feature of being able to publicly transfer your public key and then be able to send private emails. This is the same technology that Eric Snowden used when he was communicating with a reporter. Um, it's been around for quite some time, built by a guy named uh, Phil Zimmerman, a great American. He actually was uh, almost persecuted and put and uh, almost faced some serious jail time for making this, which is perhaps uh, indicative of how effective of a method it was for encrypting. Well, anyway, that wraps up uh, the demonstration on how to use Mailvelope and PGP. Uh, these are free services, so I encourage you to give them uh, positive feedback if you find it useful. Also, if you're feeling extra generous, the uh, Mailvelope does accept PayPal and Bitcoin donations. Uh, as a final note, you know, uh, I'm a bit of a liberty advocate myself, and so uh, you really can't have liberty without privacy. Um, and so this is an excellent tool for maintaining that. So I do encourage everyone to consider uh, using it for their even remotely sensitive information, strategies, PIN numbers, bank accounts, uh, private information, uh, anything you wouldn't want read by anyone. Uh, privacy is a right. So I uh, hope you found this useful. Thanks so much.